Hello and welcome to our tutorial on working with rundowns in Dramatify. In this video, I will assume you already have a rundown set up with the content settings your team should use. If you are new to rundowns, I suggest you start by watching our video tutorial, Step-by-Step -step Rundown Setup for Broadcast and Streaming Pros. And if you are working with a series, you might also want to watch Streamlining Series and Episode Workflows to maximize Dramatify's episode functionality. Dramatify's Rundown tool has four distinct views that cater to various team requirements and users. The Script View, the Rundown View, the Grid View, and Camera Cards. Each view integrates seamlessly with the others, ensuring a cohesive workflow regardless of your role in production. In this tutorial, we will focus on the Technical Rundown, which aggregates all information and is the main working view during technical planning, rehearsals, recording, live broadcasts, and streaming. Before we dive in, here's a heads up. For productions spanning multiple episodes, the rundown features an episode header packed with vital technical information for your team. These are added in the episode edit form. Also note the placement of the different menus for episodes and rundown functionality. The upper button and menu open the episode settings and you'll find the menu icon to manage extra functionality for the script view, technical rundown, and grid views to the right of the script notes. You need full access to rundowns to use the technical rundown as detailed in this tutorial. The role of content editor only gives you access to write in the script view and read the technical rundown. Learn more about setting correct access levels in the video tutorial on navigating access. You may already have some content in your rundown if you or other team members have started to write in the script view or added content in the grid view. But for maximum clarity, let's start with a blank rundown and go through it together. When adding your first content, you can add a scene, a break, or a block. A block is a collection of scenes and breaks that can be moved as a unit. This tutorial covers scenes, while you'll find how to use breaks and blocks in the next video. Note that the word scene can also be translated to item, segment, or story. Basically, any content that is not a break or a block. Click Add Scene to add your first scene. Dramatify adds an open edit form to add the content for your first scene. Your rundown may only include some of the input fields I will go through, depending on how you have set up your rundown. Click the rundown menu and select Script Settings to add or remove content input fields. Back to the content input form. Add a title and, if you want, a synopsis in the edit form. The synopsis is used in the technical rundown, strip boards and call sheets to differentiate scenes if they have similar headings. You can also use it in the rundown during the idea stage to write a short description of what the scene should contain. Next are the content sources. EVS stands for Electronic Video Source. It is any finished material that is not graphics. You also have various other sources to choose from live, online, graphics, voiceover, and music sources, each with its own background color so your team can distinguish between different content at a glance. For clarity, they also find the source written underneath the scene number. If you want to add a custom source, select Other last in the drop-down list. Here you can add your own label. The background color will be gray. Note that the scene title, scene number, and source are the only mandatory information you need to add if you quickly want to outline your rundown. Event times are helpful if you work with a live event with real-time starting and finishing times that may or may not correspond with your rundown or broadcast times. Typical examples are sports competitions and live performances, where the event may start an hour or more before your show starts, or where you mix different sports competitions and must keep track of each race's real-time start and finish time. Note that the time format will depend on your personal profile settings, 
either international or imperial time. The scene time, or duration, is how long the content will be. It's the basis for the aggregated running time and for correctly calculating real time and reverse time if you want to use those. If you need to time your scene or segment, forget the stopwatch and do it directly in Dramatify. Click the Use Timer to Measure Duration link and then Start Timer. When clicking Stop Timer, you have three choices. Either click Reset to start over or click Save as Duration if this is the time you want to save. The third option, Save as Option, is designed for rehearsed content where you may want to time the scene several times and save all the different times. Let's click Save as Option. I'll add a label so I know which take it is. Next, click Reset and Start Timer for a new take. Dramatify will use the duration you check as the scene duration. Click the Use Timer to Measure Duration link to change to another timed take at any time. Adding cast or characters lets your team know who should appear in front of the camera and is necessary for correctly assigning speakers to the automatic cue card or teleprompter feed. Use the drop-down to add existing cast and characters or click the button to add new cast members. The set helps show your team where the content takes place and can creatively be used to integrate with other features, especially props, special effects, call sheets, day schedules, and pre-recorded content. In Dramatify, the basic premise is that the scene is linked to a set connected to a physical location with driving directions and weather reports. Let's look at a few examples. In an entertainment competition show, the venue is the location, and you may have sets like the main stage, side stage, and green room. If you have advanced stage setups with lightning and props per act, each stage setup may instead be its own set. In a sports competition, the arena is the location, and you may have sets like the field itself, field side, an interview area with a backdrop, a field studio overlooking the field, public areas for fan interviews, and several commentator booths. In a current affairs show, you may have a studio location with a news desk set, a sofa area, a speciality area set, and sets and locations for pre-recorded stories outside the studio. Adding sets helps your team manage details and reports. Click the drop-down to select an existing set or add a new set with the Add button. The audio input holds information on a specific incoming audio feed or audio information for the scene. The feed input is for incoming broadcast feed designation. The work status setting helps signal to your producer and director which content is ready and which needs more work. Your team finds the content status color surrounding the scene number. Update as the work progresses. Before adding shots and dialogue, let's discuss Dramatify's note capabilities. You and team members with rundown editing access can add a public note and an image to each scene. You can also add a personal note that no one else will see, and that will not print if you print copies or make a PDF of your rundown. Each shot can also include a note, provided shot notes are turned on in the script settings. Let's dive into adding the actual content to your rundown. Click Add Shot. To use your screen estate to the maximum, you may want to click Hide Menu in the upper right corner of the page to get as much space to work as possible. Now, you may have fewer columns in a different order than I do on your screen. Nine columns are the maximum, and you can turn them on and off and set the order in the script settings. Dramatify will automatically expand columns with content and collapse columns without content for maximal readability. In each field, apart from the shot number, you can add a highlight color by clicking the paint bucket icon above. Let's start with the first column from the left, which is sound. If you have music and want to highlight that, you can trigger an icon by highlighting the text and selecting music in the format editor. With the format editor, you can also change text size, add bold 
or italics, and more. If you are working with a right-to-left language, you can also mark your text and change text direction. Before tackling the main content input in the Action and Dialog field, I will quickly go through the other content fields. Camera numbers allow camera operators to filter on-camera numbers in the camera cards and only view content for the camera or cameras they operate. Camera instructions can be plain text or notes with icons for lights and special effects. Then, you have the columns to add information for graphics and background screens. Note that the input for graphics will change, so keep an eye out for a specific video on working with graphics in rundowns. Lastly, you can add a shot note for other instructions, notes, and to-dos. To edit the action and dialog field in the rundown, go to the script settings and switch editing from the default in the script view to the rundown view. The default setting is designed to let script writers, hosts, anchors and reporters with content editor access write their content in the script view, while team members with full rundown access can segment and add technical information to the content in the rundown. At the same time, the others are writing. When it's time to stop script changes, switch to editing in the rundown, which the content editors can't edit. You can, of course, also set the rundown as the main script writing area from the start. Let's first add a simple stage direction. I highlight the text and, in the format editor, select what kind of content it is, action, and then choose who it's for. Dramatify automatically adds the name and adds an icon to show its action. If you don't like the icons, you can shut them off in the Script Settings Interface section. Let's add more content. Dramatify assumes it is the same cast member as before to be helpful and save you a click. Highlight again to mark it as Dialog and optionally change the speaker. Let's explore the format options. As correct formatting is essential for where content gets distributed and for personal content filtering of the rundown. What a coordinator wants to see in the rundown may differ from what a camera operator wants. If you scroll to the top of the rundown, you'll see the personal rundown filters, which allow your team members to focus on the most important information for them at any given moment, and also allow you to print specific rundown information for different uses, if you so wish. If we go through the shot content formatting, you have the four basic content categories at the top. Action, dialogue, camera, and lyrics. Action describes anything going on, while dialogue is the default setting for any spoken or dialogue content. Suppose you are using cue cards and teleprompters. In that case, you have several speciality dialogue settings at the bottom of the list that allows you to distribute speech and dialogue content in specific channels, for instance, to trigger an authentic reaction from a cast member by only sending it to the teleprompter and not destroying the surprise by writing it in the cue cards or printed rundown. The camera formatting is for shows that do not want to use the camera instruction column. Note that camera instructions may be more difficult for camera operators to spot if they are inside a large text mass in the content column. Lyrics are for song lyrics and will be accompanied by an icon and automatically displayed in italics. Insert is a setting for pre-recorded content. If you script content that is pre-recorded and then, for a live show or live to tape show, want to filter out everything that is not critical to the live show, you can reformat the pre-recorded content as insert and then turn off insert in the personal filter settings at the top, thereby hiding the content. Finally, presenter info is personal stage directions displayed in cue cards and teleprompters. Highlight the text, select presenter info, and select which speaker it corresponds to. Note that if you use the action formatting instead, it will not show up in cue cards and teleprompters. The script editor also includes two other nifty features 
The first is useful if you copy-paste content from another application. When you paste content, hidden formatting may be included, making the text look weird. Mark the content and click the Format Removal button, which is the one with a T and a small x. You can also use the same method to effortlessly remove any formatting added to rundown content in Dramatify. The next feature is invaluable, splitting content written in the script view into shots. Mark all the text you want to move into a new shot and click the split icon. Dramatify will automatically create a new shot at the end of the rundown. Repeat to create the next shot. To merge two shots, make sure first that they are next to each other. They will merge upward, so click the shot menu on the second shot and select merge. As you see, you now have one shot. If you want to rearrange the shots, drag and drop the order of the shots to fit your preferences. Remember to save at the end of the form. To delete a shot, click the shot menu on the right hand side and select delete. Remember to save at the end of the form and you have created your first rundown content. That's all for this tutorial. Join me for the next tutorial on working with rundowns, which covers breaks, blocks, content reordering, and more. We offer a free trial at Dramatify.com. And remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow if you liked it. See you next time. Bye for now.